All right, so today we're here visiting our good friend, Josh Hill, also known as Make Art Now. I hope that's what we're doing today. We're making art now? Yeah. He always has these crazy ideas. He's, he's, he's mad mad. Or maybe just mad. You guys wanna go for a spin? No, this would totally be your <laughs> car right car. here. <laughs> this is not my car. You should tell, that would fit you. Whoa! Hi, is this your Sam? <laughs> yeah, that's my Sam. This is made out of human flesh, I imagine. Yeah, this, is, this is my other Sam. <laughs> this is Sam too. Wow. Hello. I'll trade you. I'm right here, Gene. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Sam. <laughs> this is genius right here. This is one of those things, those travel bags, right? Yeah. It's a jewelry organizer travel kit. This is the most brilliant thing you've ever come up with. Way that... better than that stupid marble spinny thing that you came up with. I knew Josh would be a tape on camera type of dude. Oh, this is you know, uh... this beautiful iMac Pro and you just Gaffed Bro, I, you know how many emails I get about my stuff being hacked? They're like, we got you on screen. They're like, no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. There's tape on there. Like, don't you get those you, stupid emails? No, dude, because I don't do anything weird like you. Like, who knows what you're doing all weekends? <laughs> if you have a computer, you get those emails. They come in. It's just... I never get it because people know that if they hacked my camera, all they'd see me is like on Premiere just editing and then like occasionally only... eating a sandwich or something. So, I'm excited for you. You're gonna go inside this. I'm not going inside anything. I have no idea what you're talking about. Right, I don't feel safe here. I feel like we're gonna end up chopped up in a little ice box. We're gonna be another punching bag. That is amazing. Three setups. So lighting under here for this one or lighting all over there. And it's got the uh, attracting cable yeah. over there. Little cinder whoop time. Morphia 2 when I like go into that dream sequence. Yeah. I, so I built this and then I got inside of it. The orbit was set up oh. on the outside and it orbited around me. You had to build this whole thing just for that, <laughs> that one shot? Yeah. For this single shot, how many hours did you spend putting this thing together? Like two days. <laughs> how do you have time for anything? You have a child. You do do you remember that? <laughs> <laughs> At the time I didn't have a child. <laughs> and you're manufacturing and inventing? and still somehow have time to play with your mannequin friends? It's all part of the master plan, Gene. To be Matt Damon, <laughs> yeah. okay? Sam, I told you he's fucking crazy. <laughs> We're all a little crazy. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, no, not everybody. <laughs> Josh is gonna bring in guests and be like, yeah, this yeah, is my studio, getting this is my gene. I'm just gonna be like in here like all shivering. <laughs> so, you've been working on some crazy contraption. So it's a ceiling mounted motor and then you attach arms to it, and then you can attach a camera to it. And you can film yourself, or you can film time lapses. It has wiper mode, so you can go back and forth. So you could just mount this up into the ceiling, and then you can adjust the arms to different positions, and then you attach a camera. Wait, am I, am I allowed to stay in there? You stay in there. Okay, okay, yes sir. Yes You're sir. Not done with your treat. Please just don't whip me again. The other way to do it, with the Pro model, we have these brackets where you can set it up anywhere. And that's how I get the shot on Anamorphia too. You can use any C-stand you want. These are the ones that I recommend. Matthews High Riser. Honestly, it sounds expensive, 350 bucks for a stand, but you only buy this once in your lifetime. You wanna get the right one, and it, I think it's worth it. You can buy your own speed rail. These two rods slide in here, and they stretch across, so it makes a scaffold. And then I attach the third one in the middle, so I jack everything up really high, and I have the orbit suspended around me and then all you can see is those C-stands. But you don't see them if you're shooting on a super tight lens, especially at night. And then you can slide the orbit wherever you want, kind of like what I did. And this kind of reminds me of how you would set up a Dana dolly. Because well, a lot of people have a lot um, of people Dana have, dollies. And a lot of people already have speed rail. Yeah. Like speed rail is the easiest to come by material. It's super lightweight, it's super durable, super strong, and it's super cheap. And you can cut it with a saw. Can we try getting a shot with it? Yeah. And can I seriously get out of here though? Like I'm really uncomfortable now. Oh my gosh, thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you. I thought I'd never see my family again. What's the difference between this version and the production version? The production model is going to be much bigger stock. It's going to have, these tubes are going to be larger. The joints are going to be stronger. Like this is made out of cast aluminum and we're going to have like 
you know, better joints that have nice anodized knobs so you can really crank it down. It's probably gonna be cranked down with a rosette. This is what I filmed the Kickstarter with, and since then we've made a ton of changes, so. It's gonna take about probably three or four months to get those changes locked in. You have some crazy lighting up there. What is that? What, this? Yeah. Oh, that's from the time machine. Yeah, I bet you're hoping this time machine works to buy back all that time you spent designing all this stuff. The time machine I built for Burning Man. Computer, turn on time machine. Whoa, hey, it actually worked. Wait, wh who's listening to you? Alexa. <laughs> but I call her computer. This is uh, the prototype version of the lights, but the studio version comes with a bigger one. So this is eight inches. We're gonna have a 12 inch one come with the uh, studio version. It'll probably be twice as bright, maybe three times as bright as what this one can put out. It has its own internal battery. Okay. And it also has its own re uh, remote or connects to the app. And then this is also pretty cool. It's got a laser. You can find out where the center is because oh. it orbits around the center. So you want that perfect shot. You would put the product right dead center and then you're like, oh, that's where it's gonna orbit around. If you're filming yourself, I gotta set focus on my face. I don't have autofocus. So you hang the little moon ball there. Oh, it's magnetic. So then you set exposure and focus on the moon. And then when you're ready to film yourself, you just take this out of the way. And now you're in focus and you got relative, you know, exposure. If you're using it, you bring it down, but you could also just retract it back up if you're not using it and get, want to get it out of the way, huh? Yeah. If you ha don't have like as tall ceilings as this, like this was made for industrial spaces. Like look how low it can go. It can come all the way down. So like if you have like a 12 foot ceiling, this is a perfect for you because then you, it means you can get the camera down to like your workspace. But this can also mount directly into the ceiling mount. So if you have you know, regular eight foot tall ceilings and you're doing a standing shot, you don't have to have the vertical bar. So you keep talking about how powerful this motor is and I'm like the benefit of having such a powerful motor opposed to something like an Etachrome would just be to how faster revolutions, you could put a lot more payload on there. So I don't know how fast the Etachrome goes. Not fast. This motor, as of right now, we have it programmed for 10 RPM, which is pretty quick, but the motor itself can go up to 35 easily, probably 50. We haven't tested it that high. But <laughs> all this stuff's gonna but, get flung right, down. But we're not gonna allow it to go that fast because I don't want the liability of hurting somebody. Like if this whipped around at 35 RPM, it would kill you. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna allow it open API. Open API is where you can basically attach your own program to the motor and then you could tell it to go faster and it'll come up with a warning being like, are you sure you wanna go exceed 15 RPM? Yes, and then it's on you. It's like, well, you, okay. you did it yourself. Okay, so it's like the electric bikes where it comes with like exactly. the governor on there exactly. and then you go but you can take, take that off, off and yeah. then just, Whoa! Yeah. I came from the DIY world. You know what I mean? Like this isn't a cash grab for me. I built the ultimate tool that I want and I want it to go up to 20 RPM, but I can't advertise it goes up to RPM at 20 and then like expect people not to hurt themselves. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I don't want that on my conscience. This is where it gets really interesting with lighting. Cause so this is a very powerful flashlight. We're actually working on a, uh, CRI 95 flashlight because this one is pretty garbage. With motors this powerful, can you hang a small light panel on here? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. So you can backlight your subject completely. If you have a light panel on here, you don't necessarily even have to have the camera on the other end. It always looks cool when you wrap a light around a subject, even if the camera's stationary. Oh, you know, I haven't tried that actually. So you said out of the box you could get 10 RPM. Can I see what that looks like? This is one RPM. Actually, it's 1.5. This is 2.5. Clearly, you spent a lot of time around this thing because you're really good at dodging this thing. Like, you, uh, let the, you get the camera, you <laughs> get it really close to you every single time. This is five and a half RPM. So now you can kind of hear something, but there's still, you don't hear that high pitch yeah. noise, which is good because this is easy noise to get rid of. So now this is 10 RPM, which is the fastest that it's gonna be able to do just straight out of the box. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, he would just not flinch. Josh doesn't flinch. It'll get like an inch away from his face and he won't flinch. <laughs> <laughs> straight up, like what? He's just nonstop. He doesn't even have to look. The next video I do on this, I'm gonna hang from the motor and see if it'll hold my weight. <laughs> because then it's like, guys, you can totally trust putting your $15,000 camera package on here. You know what we'll do is we'll actually put a manual lens so you can see how the moon ball works. This is a vintage Russian lens. It's like 50 years old. There's no chance to autofocus at all. Now I have a big head, so do you have a big moon? <laughs> this, this, this will work, it'll work. For people with big heads, you have to make this inflatable, so have a little nozzle and I could go is it cool? and inflate it. And what I do is just to make sure you wanna be directly center, that's why the moon is important. So you wanna put your head right where this is. Okay. So it's kind of like a good gauge. So you're saying that with this, I won't have to pay a camera operator day rate to film me. Exactly, there you go. 
Why, why are you looking at me like that? What should my monologue be about? Oh, your new butt washer gun. I used to only wipe after pooping. It all changed when my friend Derar gave me one of those hose things that shoot a little thing. And it was very easy to install. And now my asshole is sparkly clean. Every poop, beautiful. You should buy a link in the description. I'm actually gonna put a link in the description. You should, you should go down there and buy it and have the cleanest asshole you've ever had in your life. Goddamn life. Yeah. Sam, do you want to know what it's like to be dramatic? Okay. Monologue time. Right. And action. I have a more expensive, more fancy bidet than you do, Gene. Mine is made by Japanese people. It's called Toto. It has a magic little wand that comes out, gently sprays your butt, or very harshly if you want it to. Wait, what's your bidet like? Uh, I don't have a boot. I've never used it. <laughs> Loser. Savage. I wipe with my hand. <laughs> when I'm about to film, I just tell the computer, computer, quiet on set. What? That so is amazing. turned off the AC and the fridge is now off too. And the best part is it, my neighbor too. These walls are super thin. He's the loudest neighbor I've ever had. And, but he's super nice. He's the friendliest guy. And so I put this light box over there. He let me install it in his place. And I put the same little remote timer over there and it essentially turns the light on for five minutes. And then after five minutes, it turns the light off and it turns everything back on. Hey Mark, are you okay if I film this for a second? Hey, oh, the light's on! Look at that, see that? Oh, I didn't even see it, okay. Where is it? Recording a He's the nicest guy, he's so nice. He's like, oh, I forgot, it's, I, did, I didn't even look. That's the most brilliant thing I've ever heard in my life. I didn't know you actually did stuff that was useful. I just imagined you building sh like this all day and trapping yourself in a box and a bunch of lights. Ah! <laughs> Whoa. Okay, that'll work. So does that mean that we don't get to eat the bunny? Oh, no, 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 we get to eat it after. It's amazing. Okay, cool. Yeah, ready? Yes, I am. Oh, here it goes. Hey, that's one strong bunny. <laughs> that was a clean decapitation. See, this is why Josh has to cover his camera right here. Sam, you want to get in on this? Yeah, please. Too bad. Mmm. Oh my god, the charred stuff is so good. Mm -hmm. Try the charred stuff. I don't like both of you. Okay, I want to see this thing working outside. Shall we? What? Gene, I'm kind of a big deal. People I, people want this. Okay? I doubt you're a big deal, dude. Look, if you go on Kickstarter... You can't afford any other shirts than that <laughs> same freaking blue denim I shirt. I have 20 of these. How dare, <laughs> how dare you offend me? I actually me? have seen your closet. There are 20 of them in there. You're not wearing the same thing. Oh, every... you are! Yeah. I'm, what? You're right there. I'm on the wait, main page of Kickstarter. Wait, you're on the... Wait, let's see. <laughs> if you go to Kickstarter.com, you see my face. My stupid looking wait, face. Wait, that's not... <laughs> that's like the first dude, thing that comes dude, up on Kickstarter.com? I'm the only guy that does a YouTube face on Kickstarter. <laughs> <laughs> is that what? Funny? Is yeah. that not funny? You're the front page of Kickstarter? He's in the front page. He's not kidding. Look. The Kickstarter algorithm loves me. It's doing way better than YouTube. Way better. <laughs> Good job, I think, man. you know what? I don't think I'm doing YouTube episodes anymore. I'm just doing Kickstarters. <laughs> Yo, so Josh is actually on the front page of Kickstarter. Like, maybe we should stop talking shit about him all Dude, the time. I, I take back everything I said. He could really teach us a thing or two about Exactly. You should start a Kickstarter. Yeah. Like, what, what should we start? Let's think of something. Every filmmaker knows this. Making content takes a lot of time. Sometimes you don't have time to eat. Every camera should have like a little, it's a little compartment that you press and then snacks come out. Oh my choice. goodness, Sam, you're a genius. So you just need a little snack, press the button, boom, it's there. Make sure you write that down or else you might forget it tomorrow. Okay. So this is not the actual bars that I will give you. This is like really, really prototypy. But this is the, the one that I used in Anamorphia too. So if I were to rebuild it, I would make it a little bit thicker so that there's not as much bend. So can people just kind of build their own bar depending on what kind of shot and length they want? In the kit that we're offering, we're gonna be selling the motor by itself along with an attachment where you can slide it very much looks like this. You can just slide your own speed rail through. And that's like the best way. Because then okay. you get the strength of these. 
so and you can put on some heavier cameras. So just like inside, the camera goes on one yep. side and down. this side needs a counterbalance. And we're done. All right, so it seems like it's just about dark enough to recreate the scene. We got a little light right there. We got the overhead light on Dylan, but your Kickstarter is pretty much fully funded and everything. Yeah, we got fully funding. We're at, I think we're at like 400,000. Link in description for Josh's wild invention. Dylan looks like an angel right now. <laughs> Three minute monologue by Dylan, which he had zero time to prepare for. And action. Go through cloud nine and become a cloud 11. Go through the sun itself, because at the end of that sun is a gold star, the kind of gold star that your kindergarten teacher gave you. Not your first grade teacher, because she's always gonna try to be the person that is not your kindergarten teacher. So go and be that gold star student. Actually get 10 gold stars. You know why? Because 10 is just one with a zero at the end. And that zero means a lot more than an actual zero. So if you're gonna aspire to anything, be more than a zero. Well, Dylan, now. I just made you a movie star. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this. Oh, the only thing I wanna know is, will the production one have that cool little blue light on top? Yeah, actually, so we can actually change it any color we want. <laughs> Whoa, okay, now I'm what's your, sold. What's your favorite color? Now you want I'm orange? Sold. Give me an orange one, yeah. Bam. <laughs> Dang. So there it is, the marble orbit. Available right now on Kickstarter for a, a little bit longer, or is, is the campaign pretty much already over? We're, we're pretty much at the tail end of it, but we got like a couple days left. So you can get in there if you want. I still can't believe you raised almost, what, half a million dollars? Half a million. By, by just like zip tying a bunch of craps together and putting a light <laughs> and making it spin? That's crazy. But that is all. Thanks for tuning in and uh, time for the outro. Thank you for watching Potato Jet channel. Press subscribe. Press like. Yeah, Potato Jet. Potato Jet. Potato Jet.